Hello, welcome back to the channel. I'm Ron. This is a quick video without much editing because I'm limited on time today. Appears the retailer ABT either accidentally or intentionally released all of the DJI Avada 2 pricing detailed specs along with all the pricing on all the accessories like the Goggles 3, the FPV Remote Controller 2, the RC Motion Controller 3, and all the different options that you can buy. Now, I'm not gonna go through all the specs with you. The goal here is to simply provide you with the information and you can go through the video and grab whatever information you're looking for. It's all there. Now, this is all being released before DJI's official release date, April 11th of 2024. So for everyone hungry for all the information, you'll find everything that you're looking for in this video. When I have time, I'll come back, I'll update the video with chapters down at the bottom so you can find the information more quickly. I'm not sure how long this information will be posted on ABT's website. I'm just doing some screen captures of all the information in case it gets pulled down. And so we all have this information prior to DJI's official release date again on the 11th. In short, the Avada 2 Fly More Combos listed for $999 US. The Avada 2 by itself is $489. The Goggles 3 are $499. The FPV Remote Controller 3 is $199. And the RC Motion 3 is $99. You'll also find the pricing of the Avada 2 props, the Avada 2 batteries, the charging hub, pricing for the Avada 2 Intelligent Flight Batteries, and the Avada 2 ND filters. Okay, so I'm gonna also leave links down below for the website and go there directly. Again, not sure if this information will get pulled down. So if the links below are no longer working, it means ABT took the information off the site. Also appears you can pre-order everything as of this video upload. However, there are no shipping dates provided at this time on their website. I've also included a side-by-side -side comparison chart of the original Avada versus the Avada 2. This is the original here. I have two side-by-side -side slides. So you can pause the video and review whichever is easier for you to look at. A comparison between the DJI Goggles 3 versus the Goggles 2 versus the DJI Goggles Integra is also there. And a comparison between the DJI RC Motion 3 and the DJI RC Motion 2 controllers. And a comparison between the DJI RC Motion 3 and the Motion RC 2 controllers as well. And of course, the real breakthrough on the DJI Goggles 3 is the picture-in-picture -picture feature where the pilot has real-time viewing of their surroundings without removing the goggles. That's a big enhancement we didn't have in the previous version of goggles. It will be interesting to see how the feature works, but I feel like it could come in handy when you want to be sure you're facing in the right direction while you're flying to get better penetration and signal strength. It's always nice to be facing in the right direction. So sometimes the drone will go by you, Maybe now it's easier to spin around. And looking through the specs, another new feature of the Avada 2 is turtle mode. That's where the Avada 2 can automatically flip itself back over for takeoff position if it's upside down, so you can quickly get back up in the air again. And of course, the best feature of this new drone is gonna be the DJI 04 video transmission system. That's really the breakthrough technology that makes this drone worth having. And I'm trying to cover a lot of information here so you can pause this video again at any point. Another interesting fact is it appears the DJI FB Controller 3 will only have compatibility initially with the DJI Avada 2, the FPV Drone 2, DJI FPV Goggles 3, and the DJI FP Goggles version 3. So no backward compatibility on initial release with some of the older drones, perhaps some firmware updates down the road by DJI, but not holding my breath, at least not initially and enjoy all the release information. Again, I'll put it all up here, as well as the website down below. Feel free to you know, click off the video and go right to the website if you wanna take your time and go through it yourself. It's all there. Like I said, I'm not sure how long it'll be there. Uh, that's it for this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe. See you guys in the next one, and probably see you on the 11th when all the videos start going up. There's pretty much nothing else to report after all this information's posted. The only next update's gonna be the real-time flights that people are going to start providing on the 11th uh, when the embargoes get lifted by DJI and all the bigger YouTubers 
who probably already have this in their hands, not this one, the version two, can start actually giving you real experiences and flight experiences and tell us what you know it really feels like. Until then, all we have is the, the specs and the early release information. So we'll see you in the next video. Have a good weekend.